That little Irish bastard. I'm not quite sure. Trelawney's off trying to find out. Has anyone been in the black water to see how things lie? Place is crawling with Pinkertons, bounty hunters, and ah. pictures of Dutch and Hosea. Uh, well, we got a lot of money sitting in that town. And that's where it's gonna remain for now. Why haven't they hanged Sean, I wonder? I think he's bait. Well, they want to trial him publicly. Gentlemen, Sean is being moved up the upper Montana, then to a federal prison out west. Damn. Well, we can't be rescuing people from some federal prison. We either rescue him now or cut him loose. We're not cutting anyone loose. Of course not. Ike Skelding's boys are moving him to a camp nearby before handing him over to the government. So, I guess we need to stop them before they get to camp. Charles, why don't you head up on the north side? And then we'll head up on the other side of the valley and meet you. That way we have them in either direction. Javier, Josiah, come on. Let's go see. You know, Arthur, the government, or people whom the government like, seem to be very angry. Sure, well... We'll rescue Sean, and we'll get ourselves lost, good and proper. It's a big country. I hope so. Idiot! Yeah. Follow me. Let's see if we can track down this boat. Keep your eyes open for Pinkertons. They got patrols out all over this area. Yes, south of the river, West Elizabeth isn't a very welcoming place right now. There, look. I think that's our boat. All right, gentlemen. Follow me. We'll follow them. Nice and easy. Let's make sure it's him first before you go starting another war. You think they can see us? If they can, we're just three fellas out on the trail. Act natural. We'll be fine. So, you've been gone for a while. Much as I love dodging the law and sleeping in the dirt with you derelicts, I do have other business to attend to. What happened in New York? You know how life is. Never a straight road anywhere. Especially with you. Nice to know I'm missed, though. Have you run out of people to rob? Come on, let's keep them in sight. You all right, Javier? You're quiet. He hasn't stopped talking since we left you in Valentine. It's the longest ride of my life. Cute, dear boy. Very cute. Pick up the pace a bit. Apparently, there's a camp somewhere around here where the bounty hunters meet and transfer before continuing out west. I imagine that's where they're headed. Stopped. All right, let's take a closer look. Binoculars, gen gentlemen. So, who are these bounty hunters? I don't know too much about Ike Skelton's boys, but I hear they're a big crew, and wild, built some reputation in the last year or two. That looks like Sean to me. Certainly kicking up enough of a fuss. Yep, that's definitely Sean. Oh, they're giving him a decent kicking. Well, 
You can only imagine the shit he's been giving them. Oh, yes. They're taking him up the canyon. There's Charles on the other side. Let's go. What about the other two down there? I've got an idea. Follow me. Do this quietly if we can. Leave it to me, gentlemen. I'll go around and create a distraction. Then you two sneak across and do the dirty on them. Okay. Crouch down out of sight. Take out your knife. B. Let's get in the river. Wait until he's got them off guard before crossing. Hold up, he's doing his thing. Gentlemen, gentlemen, excuse me, dear brothers, my wife is taken ill, gravely ill. What's the problem? It's dear Bessie. You She's take the one on the left. Where is she? Let's go now. Keep down. I, I'm beside myself. I, if I lose, if I lose Bessie, I lose everything. Oh, calm down, mister. I, I can't, I can't. I, I'm having a fit. <laughs> Come on, let's get up there. A pleasure as always, gentlemen. I think you have it from here. Come on. We got two halfway up the canyon to deal with. We're gonna have to shoot our way up there. Get your knife ready. Keep your head down. What? Me? Let's get in the river. God damn it, Arthur! A pleasure, as always, gentlemen. I think you have it from here. Come on, let's get up there. Come on!
get up there. Hey, watch out for these two. Here's Charles. All good? Wouldn't go that far. The camp's up this way. Come on. I'll take the left side, Charles. You go right, okay? I guess. Let's take these equiputas! Goddamn army of these bastards. How much is Sean's bounty? Maybe we should turn it ourselves. Still time. before any more show up. Oh, are you fellas? Cool me down! Come on! Arthur! <laughs> oh, you know, you're a lot less ugly from that other angle, Arthur. Come on. <laughs> Do I get a hug, Arthur? A warm embrace for a lost brother now found. <laughs> you know, nothing means more to me than this gang. The bond we share. It's the most real thing to me. I would kill for it, I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, I would have easily left you here to rot if Charles hadn't stopped me. <laughs> I don't believe a word of that, Arthur. Get him out of here. You're a great man, Arthur Morgan. The kind of young whippersnapper can really admire. Oh, shut up. Right, we should split up. Javier, will you escort Mr. McGuire back to camp? Charles, best you ride separately. Be careful. There's patrols everywhere. What about you? I'm gonna see what's worth taking here. I'll meet you back there as soon as I can. All right. Okay, come on. <clears throat> Have I got stories for you? Yeah, I can't wait. <clears throat> I imagine y'all missed me a lot. <sighs> but fear not, the joy's back in your lives now.
Here. You trying to put my back up? I want to up? talk to you today about the great miracle of holy passion. Yes, passion. Passion is what drives us all. It is what drives me. It drives me to serve you. To bring you yes. the great news. The great news that you are saved today. Yep. Hello, sir. I've uh, I've come from Blackwater. I'm on the trail of a dangerous gang. Como Driscoll. Heard you had some sort of incident. We don't deal with bounty hunters around here, son. I, I was just wondering if I could get a description. Well, they weren't friends. They got in a fight, two men got killed. Now, one of them's an idiot, the other's some kind of dumb mick, so maybe them's your boys. You can look right enough when we hang them. Thank you, sir. Let me out of here, you maggots! Arthur! Arthur! Hello, old friend. Had a good time, did you? <laughs> you going to get me out of here? I ain't decided yet. Real funny. Oh, I ain't joking, cowpoke. I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months. And now, I got an opportunity to watch you be silenced. Well, you gotta do something. Why? I always looked up to you, Arthur. Well, that's your first mistake. Listen, there's one little problem. There's only one of me, and there's a whole town full of people wanting to see you swing. You got to do something, Arthur. You got any dynamite? What a modern disaster this is gonna be. Just pull that lever. Come on.
the hell out of here. I got some unfinished business. Trust me, Morgan. Trust you? You have finally lost your damn mind. Norman. Go. Oh. You always was a letdown, you oh. fat sack of crap. Oh. Excuse me a minute, Arthur. Oh. Hello, Manny. Did you miss me? They had something of mine. My guns. I should... Toad him, and I'll show the rest of this town! You have really looked at this time. In the middle of all that? Ain't much I care about more than those guns. That much is clear. Who was that fella? Skinny? Yeah. We ran together for a while. Did a bank job down south. Didn't end well. I saw how it goddamn ended. He was gonna let me hang. I'm starting to wish I had. And you owe Lenny, too. If he hadn't found us in time... Yes, you will all be thanked profusely, I promise. Yeah, well, you're lucky Dutch has got your back. For some unknown reason. Whoa! I 
think we finally lost him. Well, I hope so. I'm giving you a holster. It's my way of saying thank you. And thank you. There I was, having a dull day only for you. To liven it up by letting me help you shoot up <laughs> half a town. You're a funny fella, Arthur. Real funny. <clears throat> why you act all sour all yeah, the time. Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court just... Right, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family now. Arthur, you and me. <clears throat> Sons of Dutch. Makes us brothers. <clears throat> Sometimes... Brothers make mistakes. I'm heading back to my little camp where I'm back a strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. So you ain't heading back to Dutch? No, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a peace offering. <clears throat> Bye now. Yeah! Yep. You're all right, girl. You in here? Come on. What's the hold up? You... Mr. Morgan. I took your advice, sir. I took your advice. Then your god has finally deserted you. What you talking about? I took your advice, sir. I have removed myself from Morpheus's embrace. No more shall I sink, sir. I am free. I am free. You don't seem free, friend. You seem drunk. Sit down, Reverend. We ain't finished. You ain't finished. Look at him. He's finished. None of us force liquor down his throat, friend. I just want him to play. Now, firstly, we ain't friends. Don't make no mistake on that subject. Now, secondly, he can't hardly see, let alone reason. Now, reasoning ain't never been one of my strong points, neither. But seeing, I do just fine. You want to step outside or do a business here? I just want him to finish the game. Why can't we all just get along? These are good men, Arthur. They're children of God. They are children of God. <laughs> oh. Uh, how's about you playing his place, huh? That seems fair. Fair? Sure. You want a game? I can't, partners. I don't mean to spoil your fun, but I got things to do. You sure? Quite sure. I got to get him out of here. Come on, Reverend, let's get you home. Where'd he go? I don't know. I was talking to you. <sighs> Gentlemen. Reverend! Reverend Swanson! Where'd you go? What? 
Jackson! Need you now, girl. Yep. Hey, Reverend! Hey! Calm down! What the hell did right. you just say? Get your hands off him! Not a word! You'll keep! You stay out of it! Get your hands off him now, you son of a bitch! I'll kill you both! Oh my god, you killed him! I'm gonna get the law on you! Hey, you! Get back here! You better stop right there! Stay away from me! Oh my god! What the hell are you doing? I said stop, damn it! Okay, okay. Please, don't hurt me. Tell anyone what you saw back there? You're a dead man. You understand me? Yep. I I won't tell a soul. I promise. On uh, second thoughts, you can give me all your money, too. Okay, here, just take it. Just, just please let me go. This never happened. Okay. Reverend! Get off the damn tracks! You crazy? Come on, my friend! It's just a simple mistake. You can still be saved. to like this place and wants to stay. Get your foot out of here! Twist your leg, you drunken bastard! Help! Get it! Come on! <laughs> 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 Thank you, sir. Oh, uh, 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 no, you don't. What the hell is wrong with you? What the hell is wrong with you? Throwing me off a bridge like there that. There was a goddamn train, you crazy bastard. <laughs> Have I been bad again, Mr. Morgan? I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> I wish I was different. <laughs> Let's get you home. Home? Yeah, that's a wonderful idea. I could have tea with Margaret. Margaret? Who's Margaret? But... <sighs> Margaret!
did good, girl. when he'd show up. <laughs> you better sleep your way to salvation, my friend. Oh, what happened? Just the usual. Poor <laughs> bastard. Exactly. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. I'll keep an eye on him. He was lucky this time. Real lucky. Hey, Jose. No. Hello, Arthur. Found some cash in that O'Driscoll cabin, but not much else. A shotgun. And no coal? Not for now, no. This should be some real good eating. Thank you, Arthur. John. Hey, Pearson. Hello, Mr. Pearson. How are you feeling? Things are good. Every day it changes. Herr Morgan! Herr Morgan! Mr. Strauss? You busy, my friend? Why? I'll cut you in. Loaning. Already? You know how it is. People is happy to borrow off someone like me, but more enthusiastic paying back to someone like you. Of course. Who are they? Hmm, let me see. A Chick Matthews works at Guthrie Farm. He's a hand, I believe. Mr. Robel, the small holder at Painted Sky. Runs the operations there, badly. Miss Lily Millet is a ranch maid up at Emerald Ranch. And here was me believing Dutch's bluster about us helping folk. It's legal work, Mr. Morgan. Debtors belong in prison. We are doing them a favor. Ah, and I'll make sure they see it in them terms. Put the debts in the deed box and try not to kill them. It's very bad for business. I just miss him so much. Do. Goes saying, Mr. Morgan. Okay, Mr. Morgan. Ah, Mr. Morgan. You seem chipper. But where there's life, there's hope, my friend.
this. Yeah. There, girl. Come on, girl. Knock, knock, Mr. Robo. Ale przepraszam, co pan robi w moim domu? God damn it. English? Uh, you speak English? Me? Uh, um, Silesia. Yeah, good uh, for you. Silesia. I'm here for money. You borrow from a German man? Aha, uh, German. Uh, um, uh, mein Herr, uh, uh, sprechen das, uh, this, uh, uh, the Kaiserreich. I don't yeah? speak German neither. I'm here for money, money, that you borrowed from Leopold Strauss. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, Leopold Strauss. Uh-huh, yeah. So it's time to pay. Where is it? Oh, well, no, I have nothing. It's very bad winter. We've all had a bad winter, pal. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, oh no. No, no, no. Now, you remember where you're keeping that silver? Potrzebuję trochę czasu, znajdę ci pieniądze. No, still don't understand you. Where is the money? Gold, dollars. Nie rób tego. I have nothing. Yes. I have your things. Okay. I have Just anything in here or out there. Yes. All kinds of dust. What do we have here? My old brochka, nie. Just keep quiet. Yes, 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 yes. Don't even speak English. Nieruptego! I need, I must eat, proszę! Okay. Should about cover things. Thank you. 
Вперед! Arthur! Oh, Arthur! Hey, you seem in a good mood. I am, son. I am. Let's have some fun. Tonight. Let's enjoy ourselves. Are we having a party? Maybe. Just a little one. Great. We're back home now. Mr. McGuire is back! Well, everything's going to be Come on. okay. Let's Uncle have Sean is party. back. And don't you worry, Miss Grimshaw, y'all crone. I'll keep them girls in line. If I have to whip them, I will. And you get a bump on the head. And don't you worry, Mr. Pearson, you drunk old shitbag. It'll be nothing but the, the finest game in the pot. Now, Deadeye Maguire's back. <laughs> and don't worry about nothing, Mrs. Grimshaw. We'll have this camp running like clockwork. I love you bastards. <laughs> Have fun! Have Wait, lots of fun! <laughs> Even you, you grumpy old bastard, Arthur. Hey, I got some loan money. Put it in the box, Mr. Morgan. Will do. Mind if I join you fine folks? I suppose. You're looking lovely as ever, if I may say so. Imagine riding with him all the way from Blackwater to here. It's stupid. So, what now? Come on! How about a song? <laughs> He'll be drinking till dawn now, I bet. Oh, let him Listen, my friend. Fun. He's been through Do a lot. you know the Louisville I thought you Irish enjoyed a party, Molly. I am enjoying it. I just don't need to fall over drunk. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. You know this one, don't you? Go join in. In Louisville, I met a lady. Well, what I do say. It was diddle 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 all the day. She says, young man, you're rather free. 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 She says, young man, you're in great haste for the diddle 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 all the day. I put my hand upon her thigh, mark well what I do say. She says, you're getting pretty nice to my diddle 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 all the day. My hand upon her ass, mark well what I do say. She says, let's lay down on the grass and diddle 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 all the day. Goddamn army again. Jesus Christ. I mean, here is a group of fellas that spent every waking minute just dreaming of leaving, and, and then they left, and then they jumped back in again. Stupid. You know what? That, that taught me something, and, and, and it taught me something I will never forget, and that's that most fellas are sheep.
And if you can tell the difference between a the difference between a sheep and a, a sheep and, and a man, then you, well, you, that, you that makes you a better man than me, sir. And that's all I'm saying. Mark my words, all of you. Mark my words. Oh, <laughs> maybe. 